Social with that Judd feller? Reckon so? Why? Nothing. It's just that everybody seems to expect me to take you. Well, maybe it's just as well you ain't. We wouldn't want people talking about us, would we? You think people do talk about us? Oh, you know how they are, just like a swarm of mud wasps. It's always got to be buzzing about something. What are they saying? That you're stuck on me? <laughs> uh uh. Most of the talk is that you're stuck on me. Can't imagine how such ugly rumors stop. Me neither.
Dress and I was sick. You brought me that hot soup out to the smokehouse and give it to me. Me and Ben hadn't even shaved in two days. You asked me if I had a fever and you put your hand on my head to see. I remember. Now, do you? I bet you don't remember as much as me. I remember everything you ever said, everything you ever done. I can't help it. See, see how it is. <laughs> I ain't good enough, am I? I'm just a hired hand. Got dirt on my hands. Pig slop. Ain't afraid to touch it. You're better. So much better. Most of you better, Miss Laurie. Then you wish you were so free with your airs. You're such a fine lady. Are you making threats at me? Are you standing there trying to tell me that about a loving slaughter all over me? Like a hog while you're going to do something about it? You're nothing but a mangy dog and somebody ought to shoot you. You think so much about being a hard hand. Well, I have something to tell you, Mr. Judge. I'll just rest your mind. You are not a hard hand for me no more. You can just pack your dungeon suit. I even got better ideas than that. You're not to step foot on the place again. I'll say this stuff anywhere she say. Don't you so much as step foot inside the past again again or I'll stick the dogs on you. Have you said you're saying? You brought it on yourself! I can't have it. I can't have a rest. I told you the way it was! You wouldn't listen! What's that? It's just me and Will. Say, if you see Nano Annie, she's run off her hand. Well, I need you to do something for me. Go and fight for me until I'm at. I need to see her in the awful bad. I gotta see him. Why don't you turn around and look, you crazy woman? Curly! You found yours. I gotta go hunt for mine. Hey, well, hey. Now, what on earth is Aylan the Bell of Clare? By gum, if you ain't crying. I'm afraid, afraid for my life. Don't leave me. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind crying. I can't help it. You cry your eyes out. I don't know what to do. I do. <laughs> Woo! Get away from me, you. That's about all a man can stand in public. You don't like me, girl? I like you. I like you. No, Lord, honey. You just stand here right where you are, and I'll sit over here. You tell me why you wanted to see me. Oh, Judd was here. He scared me. He's crazy. I've never seen nothing like him. He talked wild and he threatened me, so I fired him. I wish I hadn't done There's no telling what he might do now. You fired him? That's all there is to it. Tomorrow I'll keep you a new hand. I'll stay in the place myself tonight if you're nervous about that, Hong Dog. You quit your worrying about it. Say, uh, while I'm thinking about it, how... How about... How about marrying me? <laughs> Gracious, what do I want to do that for? Well, couldn't you think of some reason why you maybe might? I can't think of one right now, hardly. 
Me as man marry me? I don't know what I'll do if you don't. Curly, I'll marry you if you want me to. Yeah! Well, I'll be the happiest man alive as soon as we're married. Oh, I got to learn to be a farmer, I can see that. Quit of thinking about throwing the rope and get my hands blistered in a new way. Country's changing and we gotta change with it. They gonna make a state out of this territory. Bring up a pair of boys, new stock. Keep up the way things is going in this here crazy country. Now, with you by my side, I know I'm up to something yet. Well, I remember the first time I ever seen you. It was at the fair, and he was riding that filly of blue stars, and I says to someone, who's that skinny little thing with a bang on her forehead? I remember you was riding Bronx that day. That's right. And one of them throws you. That did not throw me. Oh, I guess you jumped off then. Sure. I jumped off. You sure did. Yeah! Hey there! If anybody around this guy can hear my voice, I want y'all to know that Lori Williams is my girl. Really? She got away from got me to ask her to marry me. Really? No, here you all the way to Tennessee. Oh, let it up. Starting as a farmer with a brand new